Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new review for you today. Today we're reviewing the Sony Bloggy, the CM5 model, which is the one that looks kind of more like a DV camera instead of the candy bar looking like one. Uh, I have been making my latest videos with the camera, guys, so you've had had a chance to see the quality of it, but today I'm going to go with a more in-depth review, guys. I'm also going to do the comparison with the Flip Mini HD as far as quality goes, so stay tuned, guys. Uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and dive right into the hardware. Alright guys, so here's the camera. Just a quick reminder, I am going to film this review, review with a Minnow HD, in case any of you are wondering. And I got that out the way. Here we got the, the Sony Bloggy, and as you can see, it got a speaker right here. And it got a spot down here for Sony's Memory Stick Pro Duo, and also fits SD cards, guys, which is very, very cool. You have to slot for the battery right here. Of course, like all cameras, you have a spot for the tripod at the bottom. And here in the back, you got the, the basic controls. You got the record button, you got a take a picture button, and you got zoom in, zoom out. It's got this cool little directional D pad. So when you're sampling your videos or your photos, you can navigate. Here's a cool part, and here's an, I guess one of my concerns. This down here opens up, guys, and it reveals a USB port. So you just pop it down. And underneath, you got the HDMI port. You also got the Sony's proprietary connection for the composite cables. Now, I love the fact that this camera has an HDMI port. I mean, every camera should have it by now. I think it's very crucial as long as it's HD. But this little USB thing kind of scares me. When you close it, you have to pull it out. If you don't pull it out soft, it feels a little jerky. I mean, any given day, you can pull it out a little too hard and break it, and then there goes your camera, because it does charge via USB. It did not come with an extra wall plug to charge the battery or anything. So if this breaks, you got a broken camera. So far it's been very good. I'm just questioning durability. We'll see how long it lasts. Uh, so far no complaints. Just a little concern I have right there. Let's go put that back in. You have the camera. It turns on automatically as you can see. And here you're greeted with a play button, a record button, and a menu button. And that's it. Simple as is. And of course you got your little display right here. So you can see it tilts all the way. So you can actually, there I am filming myself. Film yourself and see what you're doing. It's very, very cool. One of the reasons I bought this camera. Great thing about this camera, guys, is it has autofocus. Now, my experience with the Mino HD and the Sony Bloggy is it had no autofocus. So when I did a video, for example, on an iPhone or any type of phone when you're getting close and zoom in, it always come out blurry, you know, and I had a lot of complaints on that on my, on my channel, guys. So this camera does autofocus. Also does 720p and 30 frames a second, 720p and 60 frames a second, and 1080i at 30 frames per second. I usually do the 720p 60 frames a second. I think that's the best looking image. And so far I've had no complaints, guys. I love it. Um, as far as the camera goes, it has exceeded all my expectations. This camera is one ninety nine ninety nine, so it's you can't expect thousand dollar quality on this camera. It's a two hundred dollars. It does autofocus, takes five megapixel pictures. It's compact. It's nice looking. Haven't dropped it yet, but it just feels durable, guys. And I am very very satisfied with my purchase. As far as the camera goes, guys, I'm going to give it a go ahead and give it a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved every bit of it. Again, like I said, I'm not a professional videographer. I'm not expecting $1,000 quality. I do understand that there's probably better cameras out there, but for $200, the features it gives you, it's kind of hard to match. I mean, you have the 1080i, of course. Uh, the 5 megapixel camera alone, just the autofocus for me is a big seller, guys, since I'm on YouTube and all that. Um, I just like the design of it, guys. I, I think it looks damn sexy. But, like I said, guys, I'm going to give it 5 out of 5. I'm going to go ahead and uh, load some sample footage right now, guys. I went ahead and filmed my dogs in the backyard with a bloggy and the Minio HD. Um, from what I saw and what I concluded is the bloggy gives you more vibrant colors. The flip gives you more realistic looking colors. They are darker, but they're more realistic looking colors. Uh... I'll let you guys decide. And I'll go ahead and put a slideshow at the end of the pictures I took with the blog, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. And see what it looks like, guys.
I don't know what you guys think, you know. You, you can argue that the flip mint it does look a little better. I think it looks a little dull, but it does give you more realistic looking colors. Uh, the bloggy looks a little more vibrant, but my grass out there isn't that green, so like I said, it gives you a little more vibrant colors. But overall, guys, wrapping it up, I absolutely love the bloggy. I'm going to give it 5 out of 5. It's $200, and the things you're getting with it, I mean, you're getting a 5 megapixel camera. You're getting tons of features as far as 720p 30 frames, 60 frames, even 1080i as far as what kind of video you want to shoot. It's very compact. The swivel screen is amazing. For example, I'm filming this right now with the bloggy and you know, I can see myself perfectly. Uh, also, the first part of this video I did film with a bloggy and I absolutely love it. It gives me an opportunity to show myself more uh, on YouTube where, for example, if I had to flip minnow like this, I really can't see myself when I'm filming, so I don't know how it's turning out. Uh, again, just to emphasize, I love the autofocus on the bloggy. Uh, love the camera, guys. Yes, you can argue, like I said before, the quality is subpar compared to other cameras, but other cameras cost a lot more money, and for 200 bucks, I think you're getting your money's worth. Overall, I'm recommending it, guys. 5 out of 5. I approve of it. Uh, and as always, guys, please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know if you want a video of me going through the interface of the bloggy. As always, guys, thank you for watching. You guys have a good one.